We could never do this with my dog. He would yank us down. What kind like, of dog? He's a retriever. He's one year okay. old. He's a nutcase. Oh, it's still a pup. He's the best, yeah. but the training is not going well. Yeah. <laughs> well, Coach, why dogs? I mean, you could be involved in so many things. Why did you always be so passionate about dogs? You know what? It starts with my wife. She educated me on, mm -hmm. on animal welfare. And we just saw what was going on with the animals, how, how cruel people were with them. It just, it, it just enlightened me as far as just how much help they need. And, and it's not like we don't like other animals, but it's just kind of fallen into, into the dogs and cats because that's, that's a lot what's at those shelters, but they're so vulnerable. They are. They're so loyal. And I mean, look at these girls. Pretty perfect. Yeah. Flyers bandana at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They knew what they were coming to do today. Yeah, they, they <laughs> want to go swimming. That's what they want to do. They want to go after so. these ducks. That's what they want to do. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> Hawking Hound started out there in Columbus with uh, Anthony Rothman. He was one of those marshals that would go out to sites to check on dogs being chained up and not taken care of. We made a deal. We'll, we'll talk a little hockey, and but the main part of that show was going to be about animals. We had so many dogs adopted because of just that platform that we had on the radio. We're fortunate that we can help. That's all we want to try to do is help and, and to have that type of platform, we're going to go for it. I kind of see a, a different side of you when you're with these dogs. I and mean, even my first time meeting you, I was a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. I heard the stigma. And then I met you and you were with two St. Bernard puppies in your office, yeah. rolling around with them, having fun. I was like, this is the guy I'm scared of? Yeah. Why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, the, Whoa, she's going. <laughs> she wants water. Hold on one second. I'll get to that in a sec. Oh, she wants to go she's swimming. She's in the lake. <laughs> she's in. She's in. Yeah, I don't know what what the stigma is out there, and um, but this here, this is great. <laughs> I don't I don't know what what people think, or quite honestly, I if if you spend your time worrying about that, then is this not 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 enough hours in the day? I'm going to try to do the best I can for the hockey team, and quite honestly, if it isn't the hockey team, it's this here with animals. This is something my wife and I and my family, we just enjoy doing it. Because of my job, it gives us great opportunity to bring awareness to it. 21 years as head coach now, coming up, right? It's so fortunate. There are so many people looking to get into this business so many good people. I'm very fortunate to have the opportunities that I've been given. Mm -hmm. Every year, obviously, it's a new team. New guys come in. And I was talking to some of the guys in, in the locker room, and they were saying the identity still feels the same, that no matter what, there's going to be a hard-fought team. Do you, do you instill that from day one? Yeah, and that's what we tried to do last year, right away. I think the biggest job of the coaching staff last year was to explain and follow through on what the standard's going to be as far as how we go about our business. Whether we win or lose, it's how you go about it and what it is to play in Philly. It's a huge part of how we're trying to coach our team. So it, it's another step in the process. And we're gonna follow through with this process. I, I don't care if people complain, there's gonna be some bumps on the road. And, and we're gonna lose some hockey games, but this is the way it has to be done instead of halfway doing it. And then you spin the wheels in the mud, you get stuck. You know, I, I may not be the coach here when we're winning, when the team wins, but this is, this is my job as a coach now, and where the process, as, as where this team is right now, personnel-wise. But how hard is that for you, then, to think about that? Again, I'm, I love being in Philly. Uh, I watched the ball game last night on TV, and I could feel the crowd in game one there. You could just feel it. And it, and it just makes me, I just hope we can get there to, to get Wells Fargo into that area again. I remember coming in here as a visiting coach to get the atmosphere that way. But we make our own bed. We gotta go through the process and get it right. We're trying to win every game as we go through this. Uh, it doesn't mean the effort isn't going to be there. It's going to be there one way or another. The effort's going to be there. So I hope we're entertaining as we go through that. And Coots comes back this year. Cam comes back. Hathaway comes in. Palin comes in. I, j I just feel, I got a feeling of I know what people think we'll get what we're gonna be, but I get a feeling that, you know what? If we can stay healthy and we get, especially Coots and Cam, back to a semblance of what they were before their injuries, you know what, let's just, we keep our mouth shut, keep our head down, and just play the right way, and let's find out where we go.